Hello, men, women, and attack helicopters. It is Hankus the Tankus here. Now, my friend, he told me that he was in a park where this guy was on a 71 game win streak on the 1v1 court. So, a few days ago, 2K out of the 1v1 court for like 24 hours, and people usually try to go on like a 100 game win streak. So, as you see, he's on a 72 game streak right now. And you already know, of course, Hankus the Tankus, the best legend to a slashing playmaker, the build that takes absolutely so much skill, is gonna pull up. As you can see here, he's a 6 9 playmaking 5. So, he is a speed boosting center and he actually has really good shooting badges really good playmaking badges and his build could play defense also like this build is actually so broken he's a 99 overall speed boosting stretch it's like we're on 2k15 bro but he has gold clamps and then the rest of his defensive badges they're not that good but he he has an 86 win percentage so he's actually probably nice well guys he just won his last game 22 to 2 the guy he just beat was the guy who actually got me in the park yeah so he's on a 73 game win streak on the 1v1 court he's probably been out here for what like eight nine nine hours he hasn't seen the sunlight in like a day maybe i assume his 2k glitched and it put like a brown shirt on him or something i don't know 2k's been putting brown shirt on my player every time i join a park why it's all your fault ronnie fix your game man so we have hankus the tankus the challenger the legend to a slashing playmaker 99 overall point guard to be exact and then in the other corner we have the champion perk 2k dodge the playmaking 5 99 overall center on the 73 game win streak will hankus the Tankus be able to come out on top. No more accent, but this should be actually pretty easy for me because I'm on a legend two-way slashing playmaker and I have 32 defensive upgrades and I know how to guard ISO, so I should lock this dude up. Anyways, he just hop steps past me and gets a layup over my head, of course. I don't get any contest because he's four inches taller than me and he has max wingspan. If you couldn't clearly notice, his player's arms are super long. They're super lanky. They're lankier than my arms IRL and that's saying something. I cannot lie. It is actually pretty hard to guard this guy just because he's so big and his arms are so long there's only so much i could do now i was clamping him here and he has hall of fame post spin technician so of course he's gonna go straight to the post moves and he has the height advantage on me but me being the best defender on the planet i get the stop with ease and now i basically have to play perfect because i don't want to give him another chance so since he wants to be toxic i might as well be toxic myself you know spam baseline dunks mash the whole time because he's on a six nine speed boosting center so i cook him up i blow past him i get another easy dunk so far i've lived up to my my expectations i have not thrown the virtual basketball game yet but i might soon so this guy he's playing very weird so i have to match his energy you feel me so i'm spamming baseline dunks we're only rim running this game because i guarantee you if i try to shoot a three it's gonna make me get a full white so it is tied right now i could take a three right here i'm cooking him up i'm getting wide open but you know what i'm gonna get my takeover by mashing on him so i hop step i get past him a little bit but i miss so he's still spam jumping he doesn't have hall of fame pogo stick so i have time to get a midi but it honestly shouldn't have gone in because i had no stamina at all and my player was blinking so i'm tossing him around right now i don't really want to shoot a three because his arms are just so long i already know he's gonna get some dumb contest on me so i keep mashing just like he was doing to me now we do got slashing takeover so the game is most likely over you feel me so i channel my inner steezo right now i'm hitting the moonwalk i blow past him once again i dunk on his head now mind you i just turned on my ps4 and instantly joined this guy's park i did not play a single warm-up game and i'm tossing him around like this never mind i might have spoke too soon maybe if i warmed up a little bit i wouldn't be getting full whites now pay attention my young grasshoppers my player is literally harassing him virtually like he has no clue what to do like he is so shook right now he is so flabbergasted he has absolutely no clue what to do and you already know hanky the horsey is getting the rebound why are you even jumping with me low bro so once again i channel my inner steezel but no i do not want to risk shooting against him i'm gonna keep mashing i'm gonna keep cooking him up getting my ankle breakers look there is absolutely nothing he can do about that so now i'm up 14 to 6 i just gotta score a few more times i absolutely dominate him twice right there he's just giving me the three at this point he wants me to shoot because that's the only possible way he might get the ball is if i get a full white i cook him up again absolutely dominating him and he is jumping for i don't i don't even know why i'm pretty sure guys that he has come to the realization that it is most likely over because he cannot stop the legend hankus so he's just spamming me there's not really much that he could do he's trying to spam make my takeover go away but he does he does get a lucky block i cannot lie 2k did save him a little bit there so there's only six seconds i don't have much time to score so i hezzy i blow straight past him you already know what i'm doing he hasn't been able to stop me once in the paint so why would i not keep dunking
dunking on him. Once again, you already know the same exact thing keeps happening repeatedly, but yet he has not done anything to stop me. Now, I actually do green a lot on this player, but I did not want to shoot at all this game. I wanted to make sure I got my buckets. Did not want to risk taking any threes and giving him the ball back, but I'm cooking up. I just got to score one more time. I get past him with the hop step. And it's game over. My 73 game win streak now, Lobro. Later, Lobro. We'll be seeing ya. Now, that was actually extremely easy. That was my first game on also. And I, I went 11 for 14. Nothing got it pretty good. Now, I can already tell this guy is absolutely fuming. What do you guys think? Do you, do you think he's angry? You Why are you pulling up on me? He's eating my um that guy seemed extremely nice i might actually hit him up and ask him if he wants to run some twos right now psych he is a very weird individual and he needs to go outside and get himself some sunlight because he is acting like a boostless bozo. So when I was playing the last game, when I was playing the 73 game win streak, I was not taking that many threes. I assume you guys know that, but I will show you a few games after I ended his 73 game win streak where I was shooting a lot of threes and show you how elite I am on this build. So I got a 68 three pointer because I'm 99 and I'm legend and I have both Gatorade thingies. Now we're only taking threes to prove a point, guys. Look at me, I hit him with the low curry move, step back, and of course, you already know what color that is so i'm only taking threes right now just to prove a point look at me i hit him with the iverson step back of course wide open and you know it is verde oh he's looking kind of lost right now somebody needs to get him a manual chris move i love you so much but it's 18 to 3 right now his defense is very virtually bad he's been just leaving me open for the three i don't know why he's disrespecting me and of course i hit him with the step back once again i got takeover and it's free cash i'll show you guys a few more games just so you can see exactly how goaded i am on this player now we're playing mr ttv by the way a center i wonder if he's live on twitch right now maybe he should have made his name mr ttv by the way underscore ttv and then people would go to twitch.tv and search up his name now i'm not gonna do exactly what i did last game i'm gonna play normal and see what happens and if you guys want me to make a build video for this player a dribble moves video a jump shot video just let me know in the comment section below talk to me guys this build is just so overpowered it could literally do everything so one it could dunk extremely well as you clearly have seen by me ending a 73 game win streak by only basically dunking so i get 21 finishing upgrades 15 shooting upgrades 30 playmaking upgrades and then 32 defensive upgrades so yeah this is what i run on a 1v1 court sometimes i take off off ball pest and lightning reflexes and then i use moving truck and post move lockdown but when i play twos or threes i use interceptor and pick dodger then we have 30 whole playmaking upgrades which is absolutely positively insane and i only need 15 shooting upgrades that is it i mean it's pretty insane that i'm shooting like this greening every single shot with a 68 three-pointer 15 shooting upgrades and uh, um let's not talk about that anyways yeah i got my slashing takeover i'm shooting 100 um okay we shot another white but it's okay it's okay you feel me you know what ronnie i see you bro you're trying to look out for the video i already know what you're doing now he's just sitting in the paint i assume he wants me to go dunk on him or something but that that is not exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot and I'm going to green my jump shot and I'm going to win the game 23 0. Now we got another center. Y'all love just playing me with your post scores, your big 7 3 centers whenever I'm playing on the 1v1 court, huh? You see, he blocks me the first play, but it does not matter at all because Ronnie, he's looking out for me, bro. Just like he, how he missed that shot. Ronnie is looking out. Ronnie turned the sliders up for me. You feel me? Anyways, I hit him with a little step back once again. You already know that's big greens. Cannot lie, my player do be dripping. Though. I wish I did upload more throughout the year though because I really am go did you feel me look at me My virtual player is just so talented and gifted anyway So he um kind of got the ball back But just look how insane my players defense is like that hall of fame intimidator that hall of fame rim protector All of those 32 defensive upgrades. They just be bailing me out sometimes you feel me So I don't think this guy has any clue in particular on how to play defense against me It's honestly just a little bit too easy at this point. Look, i'm just going back and forth. I'm having 
fun with him. I'm trying to see if he can really play defense, but at some point I just said, screw it, and I'm gonna score. One of the few things I like that they added to 2K20 is that centers honestly can't really guard guards because their lateral quickness is just way too slow. So um, I kind of missed a wide open three with takeover, but that doesn't matter. Look how I play defense. Look how I just harass the ball handler and get an easy pluck. Like, it's just way too easy. I got 32 defensive upgrades. I got Hall of Fame pickpocket. I got all the Hall of Fame defensive badges. I'm gonna get that pluck almost every single time on a center like that. So um, I decided why not have a little fun with him. So I try to go for a little Steezo clip and then I get a early and um yeah that was the early late glitch have y'all heard about the early late glitch so like if your internet is like lagging you'll end up getting an early or a late sometimes and it's just like not the right release and of course you already know i got another steal this guy is just getting virtually tortured right now i am so sorry for him look at this guys look i got a full white but look what's gonna happen he's on a d minus right now i get another pluck with all of fame pickpocket but i don't get the ball it's okay though then i block him he honestly might want to cry right now i am not sure and then i get a 30% contest on him. But hold on, that's not the worst of it. I get another steal, and I grade him out of the game. I mean, guys, he kind of does deserve it. He is on a post score or an inside center, and, like, I'm a puny little guard. He's on a 7-3 center. I'm 6-5. Like, he deserved it. I cannot lie. So it's 18-2. to two. It's kind of hard to cook the AI, but I hit him with the moonwalk and then the crossover to the paint. I get wide open. Like, that is honestly the cheese. The moonwalk works so good against AIs. And then I cook him, and and then I get the victory royale because I'm the best virtual two-way slashing playmaker. Um, guys, I'm not sure if you knew or not, but, like, this build actually takes, like, about zero skill. Anyways, guys, we did end the 73-game win streak today. I thought it was gonna be really hard, but it was not at all because I'm the best to ever touch the sticks. Now, if you guys would drop a like on the video so that we could possibly get 3,000 likes and follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Twitch, all of the social medias are on the screen and the links are in the description. I think I might just be the happiest man ever and I might have to continue daily uploading daily hankus, you feel me? Also, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. Goodbye. Have a great day. I love you.